Hey there guys, what's up? This is What's Your Deal here with another Blacklight video. This is just an update for Gear Up Agent Episode 1 where I talked about the Assault Rifle. These are just some better builds that I think more or less accomplish the same goals but are just overall more effective. So let's go ahead and get started here. The first one is a max damage build. Now, um, in my previous video for the Assault Rifle I stated that a max damage Assault Rifle is more or less pointless. But, uh, I underestimated how powerful a max damage build can be for an assault rifle. It's actually very, very effective. Primarily because a lot, a lot of people nowadays will run with, um, 202 to 220 HP builds. And this gun just shreds those people apart. And I don't have that problem anymore where, um, I would, you know, shoot all four bullets. But they just barely managed to kill me because... Um, they survive by 2 or 3 HP or whatever. So this gun more or less solves that problem and it's just an overall really really effective gun. And it's just about as accurate as my old gun was, which was built to be a low spread, low recoil weapon with the, the right, with the 50 damage. So yeah, uh, muzzle, you should go with either the Silverwood RAS-6 or the Frontier Snuff, depending on if you like to tap fire, or if you like, or if you like to go full auto and spray. If you like to spray, uh, go with a low recoil muzzle. If you like to tap fire, go with a uh, low spread muzzle, like the Silverwood. The barrel is the bread and butter of this build because you cannot get to 55 damage with the arm comp or the Briar Composite, even with the damage tag. And the only way to get to 55 damage with those barrels is if you have magnum rounds, which is, it's really not worth it. You really shouldn't have to um, waste 200 GP a day for damage increase. So yeah, make sure you get the crane GX3 heavy. It's pretty much what makes this build work. Magazine is extended mag, that's all personal preference. Scope is the Light Sky Elotech R.6. And the reason for that is because with the arm comp, it will actually have a problem where the iron sights for the GX3 Heavy will obstruct the scope or make it really hard to aim with. But with the Light Sky Elotech, I don't have that problem. And it's a really good scope overall. It's really worth the investment. Stock is the Vulcan ACP3 Collapsible, which will give you the spread that you need to make this gun you know, a little bit more accurate and just you know just an overall great gun for tap firing and full auto so yeah those three key parts are what make this gun work the barrel the muzzle and the stock so either the frontier snuff or the silverwood res 6 for the for the muzzle crane gx3 heavy is absolutely mandatory and the stock you can go with this the uh acp3 collapsible or you can go with the crane cog if you want a little bit uh, less recoil now, speaking of recoil, this is a low recoil build. This is basically for people who like to spray and pray a lot. Um, muzzle is the Vulcan QD SS9. And the reason why I use this one instead of a suppressor is because suppressors cause a lot of horizontal recoil, which causes the gun to kick to the left and right a lot, which is really, really annoying for long range and medium range combat. So yeah, I recommend this one, and it, ha and it gives you the same amount of recoil reduction as the Armcom NT4, and gives you better spread as well. So, I recommend this one. Barrel is the Vulcan Stalker 1T6, which gives you uh, fantastic accuracy. Magazine is extended mag, personal preference. Scope, personal preference. Stock is the Armcom AC10 Sharp, which gives you a huge amount of recoil reduction which basically makes this gun, uh, you know, excellent for spray and pray. Uh, this muzzle isn't, this, 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 uh, stock isn't absolutely mandatory. Uh, you can also use the Silverwood BRS Tactical or the Turex ACP mod. Um, but you gotta make sure that when you go with this build, you have a damage tag like the Sonic Knife or the 45 Caliber, because otherwise you go with the 49 damage which um, is less than 50 damage, which means that your basic 200 HP build will, or will rather, um, you know, will be hard to kill. 
will require five shots to kill your most basic build. So yeah, be careful about that. Make sure you have a damage tag on this gun. The next gun is uh, my old gun, but I found out that this gun actually works better with a scope, uh, just because you know it's basically made for accuracy. So therefore, you should get with a high zoom scope on it. Uh, muzzle, Vulcan Arthur, Vulcan Arthur 6 Spectrum. Barrel is the Vulcan Stalker 1T6. Magazine is the um, extended mag. Scope. Um, you can go with really any scope you want. Um, personally, though, I recommend the either the ACOG because of the red dot and it's relatively accurate, or the Silverwood uh, CHX25RM, or the Silverwood Cons EOTech. Uh, they all give really high zoom in. And this one has the lowest uh, scope in time of all of them, while the Silverwood has uh, more scope in time, so it's a little bit slower. But for the type of gun, what you're going to be doing with this gun, which is basically tap firing, that's really not a big deal, as you can use this gun from long range, so a high scope in time really isn't that big of a deal. It's only going to matter in close range firefights, which you can just spray, you know, to like, you don't have to zoom in. With, close range. You can just spray from the hip and usually kill whoever's there pretty easily. Um, the next build... Oh wait, hold on. Stock is Smoking ACB3 collapsible, um, but it's the same as it's the same as up here, so you probably knew that. Uh, weapon tag, uh, you go with whatever you want, doesn't really matter. Um, this one is a... It's basically the same build as before from the other video. It's basically built for heavyweight characters. Um, Crane SBR1 for the muzzle, Briar Leather Neck Barrel, uh, Double Drum Mag, um, Vulcan SCPD Collapsible Stock, uh, EMI Fuse Image and Fair Scope. It's pretty much the same gun as before. Um, nothing really changed here. But this one has changed quite a bit. This is my um, high run speed build. Uh, the barrel is different. The whole breach 77.3 Ogre gives me the damage that I need to make this gun, you know, powerful. And I toss in the Frontier Snuff muzzle to give it a little bit more damage as well. So, and you also have the Light Mag to make sure you're not being slowed down at all. And Scope, you know, make sure you have a Scope with a high Scope in time. Since you'll be using this for close range a lot. Stock, um, are the the V2 folding CQC B or Armcom CQC E mod, which gives you more run speed, but also gives you less spread, and also gives you a lot more recoil reduction. But it's, it makes you more, it makes you less accurate. Um, another one you can go with is the. Uh, let's see here. Here we go. It's all the, it's all the way to the other end. My bad. The. Frontier US uh, UIS Ultralight. It gives you uh, less recoil, more run speed, but it makes you horrifically inaccurate. So I don't really recommend this one, but try it out and see if it works for you. But yeah, the Vulcan, uh, the V2 folding is probably the best uh, stock for this build, just because it gives you uh, the right scope and time and doesn't slow you down at all. Uh, the only thing about it is that it gives you a lot of recoil. But since you're using this gun for close range, that's really not that big of a problem, honestly. Weapon tag is uh, it's it's incre it's a movement speed tag, which is it, you can use that on there if you really want to, but you don't necessarily need to. You can put a damage tag on there to give you 53 damage, for example. So it's really just more or less what you what you prefer, a little bit more damage or a little bit more run speed. So yeah. Those are just the builds that I've managed to come up with. Um, try them all out and see what works for you. Uh, if you're a light speed character or a lightweight character, go with this build. If you're a heavyweight character, go with this build because it gives you good accuracy, good range, and a, a scope. So because you're a heavyweight character, you're not going to be as fast. So being able to see people from afar is going to be a really huge advantage and will give you the edge that you need. And since you're also a heavyweight build, that means that the, the damage fall from their guns will cause you to stay alive a little bit longer and you'll be able to go for headshots and you know that kind of thing 
And that's pretty much all that's what you want to do with this kind of gun. You want to make sure you go for headshots because if you're a heavy built guy, you actually have the time and the resources to actually take the time to tap fire and go for a headshot and put like two or three shots in the noggin and you know kill people pretty easily. Um, same thing goes with this gun. It's pretty much both the same exact thing, just not as much of a hindrance, but more or less accomplishes the same exact objective. It's a little bit more accurate and has a little bit less recoil. This is just your, you know, basic low recoil gun for spray and pray for auto tactic. Just hold down the button and let it rip. And it's just your basic max damage build. The key to this one is the Crane GX3 Heavy. That's pretty much the bread and butter of this gun. Without it, you're not going to have as much damage as you would normally. So yeah, those are all the gun builds I want to share with you guys. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys find it helpful. And yeah, take care.